Game four of the ALCS, we got J.D. Martinez stepping to the plate. He's got a runner on base. He's going to tell the umpire, like, hey, what's up? Please don't call the outside pitch on me. Everyone's been calling it all series against me, and I'm kind of sick of it. You can see just that outside pitch. I, I never seen a guy just get called this outside pitch every single game by every single ump. It's like they all decided that J.D. doesn't get the benefit of that pitch being a ball. Kind of wild. So J.D. steps in. He's like, please don't call on me kindly. I would appreciate it. This one's brought to you by DraftKings. Go to DraftKings. Download the number one sportsbook app. Use promo code JOHNBOY when you do. First pitch, inside, fouls it back. Next pitch, outside, ball. One and one's the count. Core is cold. He's anxious. He's nervous. Next pitch, in the dirt. Did he go? Laz says yes. He did go. Then he's going to foul that one back. Eventually, this one-two count is going to run itself to 3-2. There's the 2-2 outside again. Full count. We got a full count. We got a full count. Full count pitch is outside. It's called to strike. J.D. can't believe it. No, that's a ball. That's a ball, Laz. That's off the plate. Meanwhile, Maldonado and the Astros are upset because J.D. interfered with throwing the guy out at second. So you got Dusty coming down saying this is a hood off conversation. Look at the pitch. I mean, it's just not a strike. It's outside. That's ball four. It should be first and second. One out. Instead, he rings him up, and then J.D. thinks it's a walk, so he starts taking his base. Maldonado wants to throw the runner out, Verdugo, who's stealing, and he holds up because J.D. kind of walks right in front of him. And You can see he turns around to the ump and say, hey, that's interference. He can't walk in front of me. Cora's going to yell about the strike zone. He's going to say, that's way outside, and it was low. And it wasn't a strike, and I'm mad, and I'm cold, and I'm anxious, and I'm nervous. And I'm mad. And then Dusty was arguing the other way because it should be interference. So Laz messes up two things on one pitch. He pisses off both teams on one pitch. One calls that wrong. Next, I guess per the rule, per the rule, JD is out if it's deemed that he is the reason Maldonado could not make the play. So, you know, the umpire has his discretion. Can't it's not reviewable. But clearly, I, in my opinion, he pulls up because J.D. enters his like kind of like body line, I, I think. If Maldonado follows through and throws this and uh, the throw is hindered, it's actually like probably going to get called 100%. I think the lesson here is just fire that ball, uh, you know, maybe spike it on purpose so the runner can't get to third, but then you're probably more likely to get the call than if not. In live time, I was going to see maybe the runner was there already and that's why he holds up, but at this angle... Verdugo is still not there. And if we backtrack that to when he stopped his throw, which is here, he stops his throw. And then you keep going. He, he stops his throw and he's going to turn and look to the ump and Verdugo is still not there. So I think he had ample time to get him out if he had a clear path and felt comfortable. But per the rules, it's like the umpire's interpretation. And Laz would have probably had an easier time interpreting that that was interference had Maldonado thrown the ball. But now you can lean on other things. Maldonado is going to ask, like, is that reviewable? And can we review that? And he says, no, you cannot. The core is just like, oh, he's mad at the strike. Dusty and the Astros are mad at the interference. In the end, you kind of get offsetting mads. It's like, it's like offsetting penalties because both teams kind of got job because Laz messed up one call, which led to another call. So who cares in the end, I guess, but still kind of just a confusing play. And then Laz went on to have just the worst balls and strike game of the postseason. A lot of pitches that are outside were called strikes. I think it was eight balls called strikes for the Astros and eight balls called strikes for the Red Sox. And then a bunch of strikes called balls for the Red Sox and only one for the Astros. Either way, it was just a kind of a disgrace of a guy calling balls and strikes behind the plate in a playoff game. Kind of can't happen. Just put your best guys out there. Who cares about status or age or, you know, if they're veterans or not. If Laz is a fantastic first base ump, why don't just use him at first and use all the best home plate umps at home plate. You know what I'm saying? Like Trip Gibson is a fantastic home plate umpire. Have him be the home plate umpire more than the other guys. That's my thoughts. And my other thought is thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this video and go to DraftKings and make some responsible bets and bet the over in all the ALCS games. Use promo code John Boy, when you download the app, have lots of fun. Baseball is a confusing sport. Laz Diaz got both teams mad at him at the same time.